Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we're going to be talking about the Dex Binder 9 Noir by Dex Protection, a new spin on an old product that they already have when it comes to binders. It is pretty much going to be the old binder, except it comes with a black band and black interior versus the original red band and red interior that the old Dex Protection binders had. Now, in terms of my history with Dex binders, I really do have somewhat of a bias towards them. So in terms of what I own, I have the four pocket binder. This is a really nice, small, convenient, easy to travel with binder where you can just kind of throw it in your bag and just bring it with you anywhere. I also have the 12 pocket binder. This is really going to be what I use for play sets of stuff, especially in card games where you can have a four of, of a single card in any deck. So this is going to be my Persona 5 binder. So as you can see, I have it all laid out where it's like I have my play sets in case I need to take a certain card out of here and see how many I'm missing, see how many I'm using. So I really like the Dex Protection binders. Um, now, I do also have a zip binder here. So this is going to be the 12 pocket zip binder that, of course, has a zipper around it. And I wanted to give this a try versus the band. So here is what it looks like. And I'll go ahead and give you my thoughts and talk about what I feel about the zipper versus the band. But here is just a sample of what that binder looks like. All right, let's go ahead and put this to the side. And let's go ahead and open the Dex Binder 9 and kind of go through some of the features and kind of talk about why I personally really like Dex Protection Binders. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right. Here we go. So this is the binder itself. Again, Dex Protection doing nothing short of making their products look incredibly slick and very, very aesthetically pleasing. This is going to be my first nine pocket binder. So I'm really excited to use this one for, I believe I'm using this for my Weiss Schwartz singles and collectibles. So first thing to notice, this band. When I originally bought Dex Protection binders, I never realized how critical this band is to the features of the binder, to keeping your cards safe. This band holds the thing together and it's extremely tight. So as you saw earlier, the four pocket binder that I have also has a band. And over the course of several years, this band has not lost any of its tightness. It still feels like it keeps the binder really close. You have to literally pry it open, cut the band. You have to do something to this band to make it not work. So it's been a long time that I've had this binder and this band has really held it together. So first thing to note about the Dex Protection 9 Noir is that this band right here, incredibly durable, or just a piece of what feels like just rubber, honestly, or just like, it feels like cloth. I don't really know how to describe this product. Um, elastic, that's what I'm going for. For a simple piece of elastic, this holds incredibly well over many, many years. So really loving the band on the Dex Protection binders. Now, once we open up the first page, first thing you want to notice is how incredibly great this looks how incredibly nice this is so appealing to my senses especially visually because we have the black satin page as opposed to the red one that we saw on the previous dex protection binders so all dex protection binders previously only had red as the option for the interior and for the band so the whole purpose behind the noir as far as i know is just a small upgrade where they made this black and maybe they made some small details and changes in comparison to their previous binders but first thing i noticed is that this looks awesome this looks really really aesthetically appealing to my eyes and next we have the flyleaf page now this is really going to be to protect this first set of cards right here from rubbing up against this satin interior right here because you don't want this rubbing up on this and it could be like messing up the sleeves or whatnot so i really like this page as just an additional layer of protection against what is already a very nice looking binder so as you can see, it just looks just like any regular binder on the inside. It's got nine pockets per page, lots of pages here. It is going to be sewn in the middle. So if we go straight to the middle page, it is going to be sewn in. So like other of the elite binders, this one has the pages sewn in. So you can't really take them out. It's not like the typical binder where you could buy like pages and insert them. So this does have a cap in terms of how many cards you're able to put in here. So just keep that in mind, because if you're the kind of person that likes to collect cards over time, and then you like to add more and more to your binder, unfortunately, this does have a cap on it. So just keep that in mind when to Deciding what binder that you want to buy. 
Now, if we go to the back page, it's going to be the same concept where we have this back page protected from the satin interior with this flyleaf page. So very cool stuff in terms of how it looks. I am a big fan of Dex Protection binders and how they look simply because it just looks really premium and makes your cards feel like they're being stored in a premium container that has really good protective features. Now, going into the binder again itself, this page is very, very hard. I think there's a piece of cardboard on the inside, but it's this satin interior followed by some really hard cardboard in the middle there. Like, I'm not going to attempt to bend it or break it or anything like that, but it does feel really hard. Again, I've had this binder for several, several years, and as you can see, the interior does still hold its sturdiness after many many years so very cool stuff there and then on top of that the outside feels like this is padded it feels like there is something there like some sort of cushion so that in case it ever gets pressed up on by anything or something falls on it it's like a little tiny airbag is what it feels like underneath this exterior and i have no idea how to describe this exterior but it feels like it can resist a lot of scratches because that's another big thing about binders is that if it can't resist scratches then it'll just peel the protection right off but this feels like it'll hold against like if you grazed it against a bunch of things if it rubbed against a bunch of things so this exterior feels like it'll really hold in terms of being put in many different scenarios where maybe you just throw it in a bag maybe it falls maybe it gets scratched up by something this really feels like it's gonna hold up now one thing to note about this version versus the zipper is that of course it doesn't have a zipper and that is gonna be a big change that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later so the next thing that I want to do is do a card sliding test so what is a binder if it can't even protect the card so I've got nine cards here so I've got three unsleeved cards. I have got three single sleeved cards. These are going to be uh, sleeved in dragon shields. These are the best sleeves for single sleeving in my opinion. And then I've got three white swords cards that are going to be double sleeved with a character sleeve and the outer sleeve protecting that character sleeve. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into the middle of the binder where the resistance should theoretically be the lowest when it comes to how protected the cards are. And we're just gonna load one in each single, in each single pocket here. So we'll do one in the left side, one in the middle, and then one on the right. Now, before we go into this, let's actually talk about the pockets a little bit. So the pockets do somewhat feel a little loose. It doesn't feel like they close right against the card until it's actually in there so this does feel a little bit loose and it might not hold as well for single sleeved cards or for cards without sleeves so that's what this test is going to be for just to test it out but again multiple multiple products from dex protection and it really feels like these things have really held up over time these cards are not sleeved some of them are perfect fit sleeved so it really does feel like it holds up but we always want to do a live test just to confirm that that is true. So let's go ahead, load up our single sleeved cards in here. And then finally, our non sleeved cards. Okay. Now, the way I like to do a binder test is very simple. You just got to hit it. Got to hit it on the sides and see how it goes. So to do the full security of the binder, we are also going to attach the band to it. And all we got to do is just give it a good smash on the sides so let me turn off the microphone All right, so as you can see, I smashed up the sides a lot. I tried really hard to focus most, more so on smashing it sideways because the cards slide through the side instead of the top like the old style binders. So let's go ahead and take a look at how the cards held up. Again, the resistance should be the lowest in the middle because it doesn't receive like the front and back squishing that uh, the front and back would. All right, so if we go to the middle pages, so here's what I mean by there is a little bit of sliding in terms of the ones that don't have any sort of sleeving on them. So obviously this metal energy fell right out right here um, because it was not sleeved. It might not have fit in the pocket as well. Oddly enough, 
the double sleeved card which should be actually the most tight fitting one did slide out a little bit but again i really jostled the whole thing up the single fit one or the single sleeved one didn't slide out nearly as much now this honestly could be due to the backings that i chose because this is a clear backing this is non-matted or at least it's only slightly matted versus the dragon shield that feels fully matted across the whole thing so maybe the matteness of the sleeve really does matter when it comes to uh, the protection it receives from the binder because the back pages or the back page of the of the binder pages these are a little rugged in order to kind of add a little bit more friction so that the cards aren't sliding around as much but as you can see these single sleeved and honestly the non-sleeved ones might have not received the best protection but one more thing to note about that is that as this binder does get full, because this is another thing I've noticed about binders that I feel like I didn't really pay attention to at the beginning, as the binders get full, it actually gets tighter in terms of its protection because now it's a little bit bulkier. The bulkier it gets, the more this band does the work, and then the more I feel like my cards are going to be protected. So it might be because we only had one page of cards, but as you put more pages of cards in here, it's going to increase the tightness and it's going to make the band do more work, but it's going to keep everything together. So as this gets bigger, as I add more cards to it, it is likely that the cards are going to be more protected. But if you're only doing a single page of cards, then of course there is going to be a little less resistance than there would be otherwise. Now, another thing I want to talk about with the Dex Protection Noir is the variety I love variety when it comes to binders because I like to keep my stuff sorted in particular ways. So maybe I want to add a Digimon card binder and I want to put them all in gray. Or maybe I want to add a Pokemon card binder and I want it to be all in my yellow binder. So I really like color changes because it really helps with organization and the Dex Protection Noir comes in a variety of colors to allow you to organize your stuff so that way you don't have to open your binder every single time to figure out what's on the inside. So I really like this because it helps me organize my cards and when you have a bunch of binders to be able to look for what you want exactly right away that is really really good so i'm a big fan of the color choices that you have when it comes to the dex protection noir now one last thing i do want to bring up when it comes to comparing dex protection products is how i think the bands fare in comparison to the zipper now when i originally got the zipper the idea behind it was that it would protect the cards super well it's impossible for the cards to fall out because there is a zipper but one thing i have noticed about the zipper versus the versus the band binder is that the zipper actually doesn't hold cards very well or at least not as well as the band does so when we talk about the band that is really the most important feature of the this type of binder the band is the most important part because it really keeps the pages together the zipper unfortunately doesn't really keep it all together the zipper i feel like was designed with so much space for a full binder so Unlike the other band binder where I feel like you get some amount of protection no matter how many cards are in there, it really feels like for the zipper binder, it has to be completely full in order for your cards to be protected. See, even right here, I just moved this around casually to bring it over here. I didn't do any sort of test and this card's already sliding out. So I feel like the zipper is only good when it's at max capacity, whereas the bands hold a lot more and they protect a lot more. So the zipper, maybe if I was in a condition where I was actually moving or if I was in a scenario where you know, I really want that zipper, I really want it to be protected um, with the trade off that maybe a card will fall out of its pocket here or there. Maybe I'd go with the zipper. But personally, I really like the band, especially for traveling purposes. As long as you don't drop your stuff in the ocean or you like really hit this thing hard on the sides and then have all the cards fall out. I really like the band in comparison to the zipper. I actually do feel like it gives more protection in terms of cards not falling out of their pockets. But the zipper naturally has a zipper and cards cannot fall out of the binder itself even if all of them fell out of their pages. So with that being said, that is my review on the Dex Protection 9 Noir. I really do like this product. I really do like the black spin on the previously red only product. Look at just how nice this looks. It's really nice on the eyes. I really like this black band. I'm a big fan of how colors complement each other. So I really like the neutralness of the black band. And again, it comes in a variety of colors to help you organize your cards. 
But with that being said, that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I'd be happy to answer when I have the time. If you'd like to join my Discord, I don't have anything for cards yet, um, but I have been encouraged to make a card channel, so I will get on that as soon as I can. But with that being said, that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, until next time, take it easy.